Dingy, because you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you have renounced the world to be with Him, today, as the minister of God, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Be faithful unto death, and you shall receive a crown of life. Amen. Amen. accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And you have renounced the world to be with him. Today, based on your confession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Be faithful unto death, and you shall receive your allotment in the kingdom of God. Amen. Esther, because you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you have renounced everything to follow him. Based on this confession of faith, today, as the minister of God, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Be faithful unto death, and you shall receive a crown of victory. Amen.
have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you have renounced the world to follow Him. Today, based on this confession of faith, I do baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Be faithful unto death. Walk with Christ no matter what happens in life. And you shall receive a crown of life. Amen. Yes, men. Because you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you have renounced everything to be with Him, today, based on your confession of faith, I do baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord Jesus Christ do for you what no human power can do. And the day that he, he shall appear, may you receive your allotment in his kingdom. Amen. Perhaps there is someone who is considering to be baptized in the next baptism. I know there is always somebody. If you are that person, I want you to raise your hand and we shall pray for you. That in the next baptism, you want to give yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ and be baptized. Wherever you are, raise your hand and we shall pray for you right now and help you through Bible studies. Anybody? Anybody? Is Anybody? There Is there anyone who want to say that, Pastor, we want, we want you to prepare me or us for baptism the next time? Anybody? <laughs> anyone? All right. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for such a wonderful experience. We thank you that the blood is still powerful to change hearts and to help us to walk in newness of life. But I commit our dear sisters into your hands that this step that they have taken, may it be an everlasting step that is leading them to eternal life. 
I believe there are some people also here who are in the valley of decision making. They want to make a step, but for some reasons they are not able. May the Holy Spirit convict them as well. And those of us who are already baptized, may we cling to Jesus Christ our Lord. And no matter what happens, may we look to him as the only hope of our lives. We thank you so much, and as we continue in the Lord's Supper, may you wash us clean and help us to always be renewed in heart and mind. May your name be glorified, because we are praying in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.